kids are here. Oh, well, hey kids, how's it going? I see uh, you found BB-8 here. Uh, I think it's time we should get started. What do you think, BB-8? I think that's BB-8 for you, yeah, we should. Let's pray. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and pray. Bow your head and close your eyes. God, we thank you for today. I thank you for all my friends. I pray that we have a great day today, learning something new about you, God. Let us have fun. Let us have a blast. We can't wait to hear all the things that you want us to hear today, God. We love you so much. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey, boys and girls. Um, listen, I need to tell you, we have a, an ant on the loose. Um, uh, Dr. Parallelogram, 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 Dr. P, um, he was using his ray working on this giant ray to make things big and little Annie, she's so cute. Um, she looks like this. But anyways, little Annie the ant got in front of the big ray and grew big. So she's like giant ant now and she's gone. And I am so worried about her because that ray's gonna wear off and then she's gonna get little and I'm scared somebody might step on her and, oh, you see her, you do. Oh, okay, oh, oh, there she is. Annie, you are big. Yes, I, uh, yes, okay, all right, well, let's get you safe, you know, so we can um, get Dr. P to do his little magic, get you bread. Uh, okay, bread, one, and go. She didn't wanna come. I think she likes being big. But she doesn't know that that way is gonna wear off, actually, and then she's gonna be little and be, you know, lost and. <laughs> oh, well, tell you what, let's pray and keep our eyes open. We will catch Amy, the ant. Now, let's get out, my friend. Burn the bird. Here's my glove. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, come. Get on my arm. Where is everybody? Out here. Hello. Hey, Vern. Hey. Oh. Hey. Boys and girls, can you feed Vern a worm? Please. Thank you very much. Oh boy. Oh boy, Vern. Oh, guess what? Hmm. Got a surprise for you. I've got a gift for you, Vern. Really? Yes, I do. Uh, it's gonna help us introduce the lesson today. Oh boy. But you have to hide your eyes because I want you to be surprised. Oh boy, here I go. Okay, so just hide your eyes, okay? No peeking. No peeking. Okay, and I'm gonna reach down and get... Look, look what I got for Vern. What is it? Okay, you're gonna see. All right, turn around, bird. <laughs> oh, my dreams have come true. Come to Tata. Wait, wait, Vern. You can wait a minute, okay? I'm gonna let you um take in your box seat. And you know why we have this giant, big, Luscious, luscious, learn! <laughs> because today we're gonna talk about, we've already been talking about how God loves us, He made us, and today we're gonna be talking about how God's love is so big, it's so gigantic, Vern, that He even sent His Son Jesus for us. He gave us the best gift ever, Jesus, because His love is so big. God's love, we can't reach our, our hands wide enough or deep enough. God's love is so big and way bigger than this worm, but I wanted to use that for an example. I love it. <laughs> so, we're not even gonna do the mystery box today. God's love is so big for you, for you, for me, that he gave us Jesus. Isn't that awesome, Vern? Mm -hmm. And eating this worm is gonna be so awesome. Burn, burn. wait, 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 okay. All right, guys, can you say goodbye to Vern? Because 
we're going to worship God. Let's worship God and thank him for that love. Remember, we can't earn, can't earn that big love because he loves us more than we can imagine. But we worship him because we love him and we're thankful for it. Uh -huh. And I think we'll lower this horn too. <laughs> All right. Can you guys say bye to Vern? I don't think we're going to have any trouble getting him to go in his box today. <laughs> nope. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Oh, sorry, girl. Sorry. <laughs>jesus that we love him you know this is the sign language for jesus pointing in your hands like that like there's nails in your hands we're gonna sing one of my favorite songs jesus we love you by mr darson goes like this try to sing along with me jesus we love you jesus we love you oh jesus we love you, Jesus, we love you. Let's sing it again. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Oh, Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Can you blow Jesus some kisses with me? We love you, Jesus. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for holding us. All right, my good friends, it's time to learn some truths about the Bible from our good friends at, huh? A what? My aunt's here? Where's my aunt at? Annie, where? No. Oh, you mean an aunt, like a... Like a little ant? Oh, yeah, that's right. Pastor Ada told me there's an ant on the loose. <laughs> Who's afraid of an ant? They're so small and so tiny. <laughs> there's no reason to be afraid of an ant. I probably won't even see it when I turn around. It's probably so small. Do I get like a, a, a cup to scoop it in or something? Or even a leaf, anything. <laughs> I just hump to, <gasps> whoa. 
That is a big end. Okay. Uh, I was expecting. Oh, uh, that is huge. Okay. Uh, oh, look at the choppers on that thing. Uh, hi, hi, Auntie. Uh, uh, do I call you Auntie or just? I I'm gonna try to catch it. I think, but that's too big. I mean, do we have like an ant trap or something? I, <laughs> let me see if I can. Get He's trying to go on me! Um, okay. Uh, you know what? You'll go ahead and enjoy some of those Bible truths. I, I'm going to get out of here and find somebody to catch that ant because that thing is big. Um, You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. friends, it's me, Lucy. I'm just having a sad day. Do you want to know why? I have no more film left for my camera. When I push the button, nothing happens. This camera needs film to take pictures. I won't be able to add any more pictures to the wall like Sophia. Wait, what? What? What is this? To Lucy from Ollie. Wow, Ollie left me a present. I'm so excited. Want to help me open it? It's film! Ollie gave me film for my camera and now I can take pictures. I'm so happy! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Happy about my present, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ollie. That film was just what I needed. The best gift of all. The film was a nice gift for you. But there is an even better gift. Ho! Ho! Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho! Ho! Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm just in the mailman. Look at all of this mail that I have. Oh, and look at this fun gift I get to deliver. But today, I'm going to tell you about the greatest gift ever. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with, can you hold up one finger? Now take it and point it at you. Yes, today's true story begins with you. Did you know that God made you and you are important to him? It's true. Can you tell me what this is? A heart. That's right, it's because God made you and loves you with his whole heart. Now, make your hands go as high as they can go. Ready? Go! The Bible says God's love for us is so big. Now, stretch your hands out wide. Are you ready? Go! Yes, God's love for us is so, so big. That's a good job. You can put your hands down now. That's how much God loves you. And do you know what? God loves everyone in the whole wide world. You could live in this part of the world, or you could live in this part of the world, or this part. You could live anywhere in the whole world. God made everyone, and because he made us, he loves us. God loves us so much, he gave us, drum roll please, 
a special gift. It was the very best gift of all. Do you know what that gift is? Jesus! God loves the world so much, he gave us Jesus. Wow, that is awesome. Can you repeat after me? God loves, God loves the world so much, the world so much. He gave us, he gave us Jesus, Jesus. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son and Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Wow. Take your pointer finger again and point to yourself. Don't ever forget that God made you and loves you so much that he gave you Jesus to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God sent us Jesus, the best gift of all for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, can you believe it? We are so important to God that he gave us Jesus. This film is a great gift, but Jesus is the best gift of all. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Can I take a picture of all of you? Can you do this with your hands? This looks like a heart, right? This reminds us that God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Ready, say cheese. Wow, that was amazing. Great job, everyone. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Hey, boys and girls, I have an idea of how to catch Annie the ant. She loves the bugs go marching, or we sing it, the ants go marching. Maybe if you and I are singing her favorite song, she'll start dancing and singing, and I can sneak up on her and catch her so she'll be safe. So, can you guys help me? All right, it goes like this. Ready? <gasps> the ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. A little one stopped to tie his shoe. And they all go marching over the hills they go. <gasps> the ants, this is number four. One, two, three, four, right? <gasps> the ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. One accidentally got stuck in the door. Eek! And they all go marching over the hills they go. Oh, what's gonna be the next? Ah, I got you! Get out! <laughs> I got it! Annie! 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 What? Annie, I'm so glad you're safe. Listen, why were you, why were you running away? And I'm trying to keep you safe. Was that? You wanted to stay big? You feel more important when you're big? Well, listen, Annie, listen. You don't have to be big to be important. It doesn't matter how big or little you are. We're all important. Remember that? Remember, we're all important to God. And also, all that matters is about bigness is about God's big love for us. Remember, that's what we've been talking about today. How big, deep, wide, 
giant God's love is for us. And he loves you whether you're little, big, it doesn't matter. We're all specially important to him. And listen, the big gray's going to wear off anyways. And you might be lost somewhere and get somebody might step on you. So we were just trying to keep you safe. You're sorry. That's all right. Well, let you get, let's get you to para, Dr. Parallelogram and get you back to regular size and with your family. Okay. Thank you. What's up, Bouncy? Hey, Dot. I see you're reading the Bible. The Bible? Yeah, you know, the big book that tells us about God, how he made everything, how much he loves us, how he wants us to live, and just how awesome he is. Well, I'm trying to read it, but there's some stuff in here that I just don't get. Like what? Well, this says that everyone sins, and I don't think that I've sinned. Do you know what sin means? You know, like being a robber or something, but I'm not a bad guy. Sin means disobeying God. Have you ever lied? Well, sometimes. What about sneaking around to get away with something your parents said not to do? Well, everyone does that. That's no big deal. That's sin. That's disobeying God. And yes, everyone has done it. But the Bible says that the punishment for sin is death. I thought God was a good guy. That doesn't seem too fair. God is the good guy. He's perfect. And he's fair. So he has to punish sin. Well, can't I just be extra good for the rest of my life to make up for all the bad stuff I've done? Didn't you read the good news part of the Bible? No. What's the good news? Jesus. Jesus? God sent his son Jesus to earth to take your punishment for you. He's the only person who never sinned. Not even once. Nope, he was perfect, just like God. So when he died on the cross, he took the punishment for all the sin in the world. Jesus can erase your sin forever. Dying on a cross? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, let me start over. God loves us. He wants to be our friend. But sin messes up our relationship with God. So God did something to get rid of sin. He let Jesus die in our place. The cross made a way for us to be friends with God. So what do you mean by cross? That's how Jesus died. People nailed his hands and feet to a big wooden cross and left him there until he died. A uh, dot, I'm just a kid. And that's gross and kind of scary, really. Well, that's how it happened. Because of the cross, we can be right with God. Whew, so I'm all good then? Well, you have to choose to live your life for Jesus now. A dot. Yes, Bouncy? But I don't know how to do that. It's as easy as A, B, C. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. You know what, Dot? I want to do that. I want to make Jesus the leader of my life. You do? Well, you can pray with me right now and talk to God about it. Do you want to? Yeah, but I don't know what to say. If you want to make Jesus your leader, repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. I know that I have disobeyed you. I know that I've disobeyed you. I don't want to sin anymore. I don't want to sin anymore. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. Thank you for taking the punishment for my sin. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. I want Jesus to be the leader of my life. Thank you for making me your friend. Thank you for making me your friend. Help me to live for you now. Help me to live for you now. I can pray this because of Jesus. I can pray this because of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
All right, BB-8, it's time to go. We've had a fun day, haven't we? I know you don't want to go, but we have to. The kids have the stuff to go do. Uh, don't you turn your head at me, good sir. Hey, go on, say goodbye to the kids. We'll see you next time, guys.